Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim from Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash. Uh, Jacob, one of the believers had a question about the complete Jewish Bible. And is it a good translation? And uh, also, it's used almost as a weapon uh, to spread Acts 15.5 as, as a keep the Torah rule. And their view on Galatians is very different. Could you explain the translation? I know David Stern quite well, and I've known him many years. And actually, I personally like him. One of his books that was very good, and that I would certainly endorse, and I think most believers should read, is a book entitled Restoring the Jewishness of the Gospels. Restoring the Jewishness of the Gospels. It's quite a good book that David Stern authored. Now, again, I appreciate some of his work. Um, especially that book, Restoring the Jewishness of the Gospels. And I like him personally. I've known him a long time. I, I have no personal issues with David at all. I, I, I actually like him. He's an intelligent man. He's an economist, professional surfer, <laughs> of all things, from the north coast of Oahu. Wrote a book about surfing also. I, David Stern is quite a figure, both inside Israel and in the diaspora. Concerning the complete Jewish Bible, however, or his Jewish New Testament, uh, it's a paraphrase, and to be honest, not a very good one. I recall when the Jewish New Testament came out, I compared his translation of Ephesians 5 with the original Greek, and it was not a good, not good. It was, it was very paraphrased. Uh, not only that, but it, it there's a gimmicky element to it. Supposedly, it was used to help make the gospel more understandable to Jewish people. Well, if a Jew knew what HaKohen HaGadol was, he'd know Hebrew. He wouldn't need somebody to call the high priest HaKohen HaGadol. It seems like it's more there for the what Danny Eason calls synagogues, synagogues, Gentiles who want to imitate Talmudic Judaism, it's gimmicky. It's not a good translation. And I would not base any doctrinal conclusions on it. It really is not a good translation from the Greek manuscripts, from the majority texts, from the Texas Receptus, from anything. It's just not a good translation. It's a rather bad paraphrase. This is not, however, to attack David personally or demean his other work, including his fine work, on restoring the Jewishness of the Gospels. There's a very good and positive side to David Stern, and he has done um, a good service to the body of Christ internationally and to the cause of Jewish evangelism. Uh, I don't want to demean that or, or delete from that, but his translation is not good. It really is not good. And again, he's a person who I know fairly well and whom I actually like personally, but his translations I don't like. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't for the sake of brevity uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. 
obviously practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.